All right, hey everybody. I'm gonna do the update for the large grow tent and show you what's happening with the uh, tomatoes and peppers. And I've upped the, uh, we'll see, I've upped the uh, amount of daylight hours I've got coming into this tent. So right now, I think I'm running uh, 16. Let me check here real quick. Yeah, I'm running 16 hours of light in this tent. And uh, you can see, by upping the hours, it seemed to have a lot of new growth coming in on the, uh, the tomatoes as well as the pepper plants, like this one here. It's got a lot of new growth since the last video. I didn't, you know, because I didn't do a video last week. I was out of town on business. But uh, you can see there's a lot of new peppers back there. Let's see, turn the viewfinder here so I can actually see what I'm pointing at. And then uh, you can see the peppers back there. There's a lot of new, a lot of new flowering going on. And I went through here, I came and picked all the yellow uh, peppers off. There's a lot of green ones that are on there. I mean, you can see there's some new ones back there. There's some new ones on that one there. And of course, this is the big pepper that used to be, you know, sitting down on the floor down here. I moved the fan inside because I've rearranged since we got the new tent. I put this pepper plant inside of here. And there's some new growth. There's some peppers back there besides the, uh, the bigger peppers. And then, of course, oh, let me show you the tomatoes that are starting to ripen down here. You can see there's a lot of tomatoes that are getting ripe. I came through here and when I got back from my trip, I trimmed off a lot of the vegetative, you know, leafing on this tent to open it up, give a lot more airflow and a lot more visible light getting down into the tomatoes themselves because these are hanging upside down. So I wanted to thin out the leaf structure inside of here. And I thinned out the leaf structure on that one. You can see there's a little red one there that I need to pick, kind of a small one. And uh, I've got another ripe one off of there yesterday. And then you can see here's our bush one. I thinned it out. It's got a lot of new growth on the tops here, heading up into the canopy. And there's another ripe, ripe one there I'll have for my dinner tonight. I think there's another back there. There's two more back there that I could probably pick for tonight's dinner. Put those on my salad that I harvested off the uh, salad bar LED area. And then here's one of the peppers that I took out of the tray that used to be there. I saved one of the peppers, the other ones I just tossed. Put, I up-potted this one, put it in a little two-gallon pot. It's got quite a few uh, peppers setting on here. You can see that. So I'm actually glad I kind of kept these around because I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of pepper growth on here. You see there's a couple there. This one here's got a couple hanging off the edge. That one there should be ripe by this weekend. There's some more around the side there. So these peppers are starting to come back to life, and especially since I turned the, uh, the number of daylight hours I got on this tent. Because I kind of varied it. I was running it, I believe I had this tent setting it right around 12 to 14 hours, and I bumped it up to 16. So now we're running 16 hours of daylight, so this thing thinks that it's full-time summer now. And it looks like we're getting a lot more uh, flowering. So I'm pretty happy with how the, uh, the tent's coming back to life getting ready heading into spring because a lot of these plants here they're going to end up in pots out in our yard and we're going to have these little pepper plants going along with all the peppers that i've seeded in my uh small grow tent now so we're going to have a lot of peppers outdoors a lot of eggplant and a lot of tomato so it's going to be a good summer for 2019 guys all right this has been brian from pmb homesteading talk to you again bye